What's up everybody, Justin here bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Coast Brewing Company, North Charleston, South Carolina. This is Dead Arm American Pale Ale. Not a lot of information from the brewery on this beer. Uh, on their website, the Coast website, they just know that it's a West Coast style pale ale. Lightly hopped, light malts, a nod to the West Coast style, 6% ABV. Uh, and they know that uh, malts used are Pilsner, Vienna, Wheat, and Oat, with the uh, Pilsner, Vienna, and Wheat malts um, all being certified organic. Um, in fact, it notes on the can that uh, it is 97%, yes, 97% organic ingredients, if uh, that's the kind of thing you care about, which many people do. Um, in addition, the hops used Cascade, Chinook, and Columbus. All right, that's pour. Okay, so a uh, nice yellow color, solid yellow color, very hazy, uh, surprisingly so for a pale ale. Hold up the light, we kind of get some uh, some lemonish to maybe pale lager uh, highlights to it. Just a little bit of a, a white head, actually it's pretty well all gone, there's just a thin layer on top of the beer with a bit of a thicker ring all around so uh, almost no head to it all right let's give it a try hmm well a lot to break down in that give me another try So definitely a, a pale ale, but there's a few flavor notes and really just kind of the visual of the beer really gives it some uh, some wheat beer Hefeweizen type qualities uh, that are very much present in this APA. So let's break it down. The uh, the pale ale side again is quite quite prominent. I'm um, getting some a uh, little bit of citrus in there, mostly uh, I would say lemon, uh, maybe just a, a, a hint of a grapefruit, but um, mostly lemon, not really any orange or anything like that. Uh, some passion, um, some tropical fruits in there as well. I would say largely like a, a mango is in there as well, and there's a a, a decent amount of hop bitterness that comes through. Um, in the back half of the tasting experience and almost as kind of an aftertaste. But all that being said, again, there's just kind of a, almost a, a, a wheat beer kind of a feeling to it as well. There's something maybe a little bit, a little bit grainy to it, possibly a crackery from the malts. Um, that I'm interpreting is a little bit grainy. I think the presence of the lemon, more so than some other citrus notes, are really giving it a little bit of a wheat beer feel as well. And, and again, in addition to the, the grainy note, there's maybe a little bit of a, a, bit of a, a hoppy grass uh, note in there as well. But there's just a few things all adding up that certainly makes sense in a pale ale but you don't necessarily see them all together and they kind of add up to a little bit of a, a weepier presence and again just looking at such a, a relatively pale color I know we've done a number of uh, pale ales and especially IPAs of late and on the site and they tend to be crystal clear or pretty close to it this one is quite quite cloudy so I'm certainly an enjoyable beer I'm I am I am liking it but uh not even but, it's just that it's something a little bit different than your normal uh, run-of-the-mill pale ale. And that's kind of what I like about the what the American-style pale ales. They usually tend to be a little different, a little more, a little less hop-based, a little more general flavor-based, in my opinion. Well, when I say a little more hop-based, a little more hop-bitterness 
uh, based. But yeah, tasty beer. Um, again, I think the probably the overarching flavor coming out of this is uh, is the lemon, maybe just a little bit of lemon rind as well. So, kind of a feeling part pale ale, part uh, part wheat beer. This uh, dead arm APA from Coast Brewing. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those usernames uh, and links in the description below. If you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.